Hey guys, welcome to the third part of my series on creating a serverless REST API using AWS and Python programming language. So in the last video, we discussed the most important aspect of our serverless REST API, which is AWS Lambda. We also saw a demo of it by creating a very simple Lambda function. And now in this video, we are going to discuss another very important aspect of our serverless REST uh, application, which is Amazon API Gateway. So we're going to talk about this particular service provided by AWS in this video. And we are also going to see a demo and how to integrate it in our Lambda function as well. So without any delay, let's get started. What is API Gateway? So as I've already mentioned that API Gateway is an AWS service, fully managed AWS service, which lets you create, maintain, publish, monitor, and even secure your APIs at any scale. But a more important question here is that why do we need API Gateway, right? So let us think it this way. We are making a serverless application where we are using Lambda function to run our code. But when will our code run? It will, the code needs to be run when any HTTP request is coming. And in order to get an HTTP request, you need to have an HTTP endpoint. Currently, Lambda function has no concept of HTTP endpoints, right? So what will happen is that we will be creating an API gateway. So whenever you create a new API gateway resource, you get some HTTP endpoint. And whenever that HTTP endpoint is being hit, then you will tell API gateway to call the Lambda function and then Lambda function will get the request object. It will process it and it will return the response. And then finally, API gateway will return the response to the actual client. So in this way, we will model our REST API. So that's why we need API gateway. And now let us take a look at where does API gateway fit in here. So this diagram uh, shows you like these are all the like web and mobile applications or simple users. These are the clients and then you have Amazon API gateway as the interface. And finally you have AWS Lambda. You can have Amazon EC2 and anything like that. So this is how um, the flow will look like, right? And as I've already mentioned that Amazon API Gateway will provide you a lot of benefits like efficient API, de uh, efficient API development, um, restful API options, easy monitorings. You can uh, get flexible security control, like uh, you can authorize the access to your APIs and so on. So there are a lot of benefits and we will keep discovering them as we keep on using API Gateway. So now what in this video we are going to do is um, we're going to add API gateway as a trigger to a Lambda function. So let's do that now. Okay. So this is my Lambda function dashboard that I created in the last video. We already have an SQS trigger here, right? And now we're going to add one more trigger, which is API gateway. So let me just search for API gateway in this search bar and then open it in another tab. Okay. So this is my API gateway console. And I do not have any API gateway resource already. So I'm just going to click on get started and create your first API. Okay. I'm going to create my first API. So I'm going to choose the protocol as rest, create an API. Let me click on new API. Let me give my API some name. So let me call it test only description is fine. Endpoint type is regional is fine. So now let me click on create API. Okay, so now let us try to understand what all has happened. So if you go to the APIs section of your API gateway, you will see that you have created an API, okay, whose name is test and this is some ID and so on. So now um, an API has several endpoints, right? An API has several um, routes. So in the routes, I have only one route, which is just slash. So now in this route, I have to add some kind of method and when the request will be made to this route with that particular method, then my API gateway will get invoked. So what I'm going to do is in the actions category, I'm going to click on create method and let's say just select get because it is very simple and then yes. And now here it is asking me the integration point for this particular uh, HTTP method that will be uh, available in my API. So the integration type I'm selecting as Lambda function only and the Lambda function that I'm going to select is my test Lambda function and that's it. I'm going to click on save. So I'm about to give API gateway permission 
to invoke my lambda function that is correct i want my api gateway to invoke my lambda function and done so now we have created one new method which is a get method on slash route right and as you can see what is happening is method request authorization type is currently none so let's go with that then the integration request is a lamb will be made to a lambda and finally you will get the response and then you will pass it on with http status 200 and the content type as application slash json so this is as simple as that so this is just specifying how my api will work right and now let us test it so you can just click on this test button and then just click on test so look at that we are getting the response as message hello world so it means that api gateway is successfully invoking my lambda function because we know that it returns this particular output always right so yeah so this is working but now i want to call it through some um and http endpoint right so how do we do that so in order to do that uh, you will have to deploy your api so currently i have just specified how my api looks like but now i have to deploy it so i will just click on deploy api and now i have to specify some deployment stage so i don't have any stage already so i'm just going to click on new stage and then the stage name let me give the stage name as test and deploy okay so now look at that we have got in the stages part we have got a new stage which is called test inside the test stage we have got one route which is slash with the get request method and here is my invoke url so now if i just open this url look at that we are getting the output so now you can share this particular url with anyone this is your api url anyone which who will be calling this api will be getting the response from your lambda function only so yeah so this is how you can create an api gateway uh, and then specify your api um, and now uh, one important thing here is that now we will be integrating all this thing all these things in our um, rest api right so that is what we'll be doing from the from the other from the next com upcoming videos onwards and there we will might not be doing all the things manually and we will try to do these things in the code itself like how to specify whether an api gateway uh, needs to be added to a lambda function or not and so on so all those kind of things we will try to do by some code so yeah so that is what we're gonna do and if you still have any doubts regarding the api gateway and the demo that i just gave you you can put them in the comment section below and that's it from this video Thanks for watching.